And now, your East Texas Storm Team forecast with Marcus Bagwell. They have had their share of significant severe weather out in portions of West Texas. This is the season. Look at all the reports going back to Friday. Many reports of hail over this area and you notice many of those tornado reports. Some of those in which Sarah just mentioned the threat really decreased yesterday evening into this morning, and that's why we've just seen some general rain showers for us here. But the rain certainly has been coming down off and on today and really picked up into the afternoon. Look at how much rain has fallen since mid night across a good portion of the area, a quarter to about a half an inch of rain. Some of our weather watchers have had some higher totals like hideaway six tenths of an inch Emerald Bay close to a half an inch. Northwest Wood County had some lightning and a couple of the storms in Wood County around a half an inch of rain. Tennessee Colony picking up just about four tenths of an inch of precipitation. Live Doppler radar showing the heaviest of the rain has now finally pushed off to the east. We still have some lingering showers left over. Some of those moving back into portions of Cherry Key County, even sections of Toledo Bend. You have some light to moderate showers that are continuing to pass through at this point. The heaviest is up near the Arklatex area right now. Here's a closer look at Longview. You can notice here that we still have rain coming down, at least relatively light. 56 is the temperature, and we have a west wind at 10 miles an hour. The high temperatures were achieved early this morning up until about 10 a.m. before the rainfall has begun to move in. That's why a lot of us are in the 50s. We still have 60s, even some 70s out to the southeast. And you notice out west, that's where they had sunshine this afternoon, lower to mid 70s. And we're tracking the clearing clouds and sunshine on the way for tomorrow. This evening, cloud cover will continue to push east, as will the rain as well. I don't think the rain is over with, though, in our eastern counties until about 10 to 11 o'clock at the very latest. Then overnight, clouds decrease and we'll have a southerly wind. That means it'll be a cooler start tomorrow morning. We should start anywhere from the mid to the upper 40s. That's a lot different than where we have been over the last several mornings. But the good news is that we're tracking sunshine tomorrow. The southwest wind will pick up. We've got a windy day up ahead tomorrow. That southwest wind bringing in drier air, which means temperatures will heat up efficiently by 1 o'clock, mid 70s. And how about close to 80 degrees? by tomorrow afternoon, certainly looking at very warm weather across East Texas. Now let me show you what we can expect as we go through the next few days. Active weather actually moves back in Tuesday and Wednesday, so tomorrow we're warm with highs near 80, near 80 again Tuesday. Tuesday afternoon, there's a small chance for an isolated storm. If it can happen, it does have the potential to maybe get rowdy, maybe even stronger severe, but Tuesday night into Wednesday, we expect some gusty storms to move in. We've got a morning round of storms Wednesday, and for most areas by Wednesday afternoon, the threat is over, followed by some cooler temperatures. It's a different story in deep east Texas. Warm the next couple of days, 82 Tuesday with that storm chance. Then it picks up Tuesday night into Wednesday, but we could have the possibility of some severe storms near the Texas and Louisiana border Wednesday afternoon before that system really amplifies into Louisiana. And then for us, we're tracking cooler weather as we get toward late this upcoming week. Sarah. Thank you, Marcus. Now